Thanks to Vature for sponsoring this video. So this is me like over 15 years ago. How you doing, buddy? And obviously, well, this is me now. A lot has changed over the last 15 years. I didn't have a full on beard when I was like 13 years old, but something that hasn't changed for the last couple of decades in my life has been these, these boring old glasses. Although the frames and styles and colors of glasses on my face have changed over the last 20 years I've been wearing glasses, actually wearing them hasn't. I've been wearing these dumb old frames on my head for decades now, and after watching so many sci-fi movies as a kid and watching these super sleek concept videos on YouTube, I always wanted more for my glasses. And now that dream has become reality because these are the Vitcher One XR glasses. The idea of having a 120 inch screen with you wherever you go or being able to get like a movie theater level experience with you anytime, anywhere, isn't just a dream anymore, but it's a reality with Vitcher One. Let me show you what they do, how they work, and honestly, how they might just be the best companion you can pair with your all new iPhone 15. So I thought instead of me sitting in any old random room and sort of explaining these features, I wanna do my best to show you this in action and show you why I'm so excited. So I'm gonna use my iPhone here to sort of give you a little behind the scenes look and hey, here is our living room set. I've got some camera gear. I've got this whole filming stuff all set up. I'm on a little comfy couch. I'm ready to go, but um, I got a problem. I don't have a TV here. I'd love to put a TV here. I even would love a 120 inch screen TV, but I don't think that would fit in this space, but luckily I don't have to worry. I've got my Vature One glasses that are going to allow me to have a basically huge high resolution screen right here to watch the content I want no physical product required. So first things first, let me answer some of your immediate questions because I had immediate questions when I first saw these and put them on and I thought I'd sort of save you the trouble by Googling and let me just tell you what you need to know. First off is that build quality here is really good. The glasses are well made, they're super comfortable, they don't feel uh, bulky or anything like that and they sort of sit on your face like regular glasses. There are some easy to access buttons here that I'll show off in a moment, but putting them on, they look like this. Here you go. They're comfortable. As someone who wears glasses all day, I don't feel like this is any more bulky or uncomfortable. And also what's really nice here that I appreciate is that there's no built-in battery in the glasses themselves. So they don't get super hot. They don't feel weighed down. You don't feel like you're uncomfortable or sort of leaning one way to the other because you're trying to uh, sort of fight the weight of that battery. That's not the case here. Really comfortable. And honestly, after wearing them for hours on end, I've got no problems. They just sort of feel like any other pair of glasses that I'm always wearing. That sort of leads to the next obvious question, which is how do these actually interface with your device? Well, the nice thing is that they're just a little magnetic cable here that attaches just like that. And this, what looks like just sort of a thin regular USB-C cable that's making the magic happen, is going to plug into a number of different adapters. Vature has a couple of different things. If you want to plug this into a Nintendo Switch, you can do that. A game console, you can really plug these in and get an awesome gaming experience. But what I am super excited about as the Apple guy is to try to get this to connect to here it is, my uh, iPhone 15 Pro. How do I do that? Well, it's actually really easy and Vature has three super easy ways to make this magic happen. If you happen to have one of the new iPhone 15s like I do with a USB-C port on the bottom, this is where things get really simple because all I've gotta do is plug the glasses in directly into the phone. That's it, no adapter required, and I'm able to have a truly remarkable and really incredible experience. I'm able to watch full screen content here, have this amazing high fidelity floating display right in my view, and I can even use the companion spacewalker app, which I'll detail a little later on in this video, that lets you do even more amazing things like have multiple windows open at once or have a browser open and YouTube and be able to do amazing things and even use my phone as sort of a laser pointer to pick things out in 3D space. It's super cool and again, all can be done just by plugging the glasses right into the phone. Really, really special. To get the full experience though, I'm gonna use one of Vitcher's XR adapters and they've got actually a couple of different adapters depending on the iPhone you've got. They've got one for the Lightning series of iPhones, so iPhone 14 and earlier, that's easily gonna connect to your device. You basically can use this special box and then this plugs into like Apple's uh, sort of AV uh, Lightning uh, little accessory here. You plug this into Lightning and you're gonna be good to go. Or if you've got an iPhone 15 like I do, one second, 
With the oh so glorious USB-C port, I just plug this into the bottom like that, and that is that. Basically on these adapters, there's two ports here. One is going to be for your glasses, so you plug that in, you're good to go. And then also there is charging pass-through here. So if you wanna be able to uh, use these glasses and also charge your device at the same time, you can easily plug in a USB-C power uh, cable in there to sort of charge up your device and be good to go while you're having this amazing extended reality experience. The adapters also unlock some extra special features like multi screen and VR video features, as well as sort of an enhanced three-dimensional field of view. Uh, either are going to work the exact same way, whether you've got a newer iPhone or an older iPhone, just pick up the one for your corresponding iPhone's port. In my case here, I'm gonna use the one with my 15 Pro, just the USB-C adapter, to get the full experience and show off to you guys all the amazing things you can do with the Vitcher One. And also I should mention that one more special thing with the hardware that I really, really love is that these are going to work with many of you who wear glasses like I do full time with a super secret special feature built in that really takes this magic to a whole new level. The Vitura One is equipped with adjustable Mitopia diopters that let you easily sort of scroll and adjust things to get a clear picture for your left eye and your right eye. I believe they do have some prescription offerings as well if you do want to go that route, but I will say as someone who wears glasses full time and who is very wary of any experience like this because I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to use them with my sort of weird eyes and my glasses and prescription, this works out really, really well. No additional hardware required. I can dial in that sweet spot just for my eyes. Okay, and now comes the fun part. I've got the adapter connected to my 15 Pro just with that one single adapter. I've got the cable in the glasses. I put them on and this is really cool. I now have, basically to try to describe it, a floating iPhone screen in front of me and it is just really, really cool to see this. Now, to be totally honest, it's sort of hard to show this to you how it really looks because it's hard for me to film the lenses with the camera, but what I can do is sort of show you this simulation of what it looks like to me, and uh, I'm gonna do my best to sort of show you that in this video. So this is what it looks like. I've got my floating iPhone screen here, and uh, yeah, this is super cool, but this is just where it starts. Now, obviously it's cool to sort of mirror my phone screen to these glasses, but where things get even cooler is with Vitcher's Spacewalker app on iOS, because with this loaded up, I now basically have like this virtual set of floating windows where I can turn and see different things. And I'm able to have sort of a browser open here. I can have a YouTube video open here. I could have Google Drive open here, where I could sort of look around, see the different windows and do different things. I can multitask live in real time, just by sort of turning my head and seeing these different windows. Now, one of my favorite experiences here is to actually watch movies, or in my case, YouTube videos here, uh, on the glasses when I'm laying in bed, when I'm sitting at my desk, or sitting on the couch sort of just being lazy, uh, not having to sort of hold my phone or just sort of sit back and relax and watch these videos on here has been really cool. It looks great on this basically 120 inch screen. And the other cool thing here is that there are really nice speakers built in. So there are sort of speakers on either side of sort of the frames. Uh, these were made in conjunction with Harman. They sound incredible and they do a great job at doing two things. One is that the audio sounds really good when you're watching content, but also they're not going to be blasting people around you. Like I mentioned earlier, there are a couple of hardware buttons that you have easy access to. If you want to adjust volume, brightness, stuff like that, I can do it just like this. But one of the coolest things is watch this. I'm going to hit this button and watch closely with the glasses. Ready? Boom. Did you see that? Ready? Boom. Again. What's cool about this is that there's a button I can press that's gonna activate the electrochromic displays up here or the lenses. They're going to sort of darken the area around me to give me a more immersive uh, content experience. So in my case here, I can turn it off. I sort of have this augmented experience. I can see uh, my screen here. I can see the camera. I can see the monitor, stuff like that. That's great. But if I wanted to sit back and I wanted to watch a movie or I really wanna focus on something, I can hit this button and turn that on it's gonna darken everything around me, and now I am way more uh, fully immersed in my content. That is super cool, and all I have to do is uh, press one button to do that. There are also some optional lens shades as well that you can put on here to really black things out and make it super immersive, but honestly, I found the Electrochromic does a great job, and just one press of the button is gonna sort of shut down the world around me and let me focus on what I wanna see. So my primary way of using this with the Spacewalker app is having multiple windows up at once. I can sort of look here and see one window, I can look over here and see something else, but there's also another feature you can use that sort of puts the windows in three-dimensional uh, space. If I triple click this button here, basically it's gonna take my active window and put it in 3D space. So if I turn my head, I won't see it, 
but if I turn back, then I will see it. Again, it's really hard to explain just how this looks and how it works, but it's really cool and sort of makes the window look like it's floating in 3D space. One of the cool examples of this I could see, and I think they had this in one of their demo videos, is like, let's say you're on an airplane, you're watching a video, you sort of are looking at the seat in front of you, you know, doing that whole thing, and then the flight attendant comes by to offer you a drink or a snack. You don't want to sort of have the display over their face. You want to be able to see them. So one of the nice things about this is that you can sort of have your 3D window here. I can turn it and see the person and then just turn back and have my content. I don't have to stop anything. I don't have to sort of readjust things. I've got that window in 3D space. Um, so sort of track to that area. So I can sort of look away when needed and then look back and go back to whatever I was doing. Vitra's also got a really awesome companion mobile dock that allows you to share this amazing experience with friends or family with their Vitra ones as well. Honestly, this experience is just really, really cool. It's hard to sort of show this off in video and show you exactly what you can do. But I hope I gave you just a little idea, a little glimpse of how awesome these Vitra one glasses are. I have always dreamed of having virtual screens floating in my vision or a movie theater like experience with me wherever I go. These are awesome. They're simply amazing and I have loved my time with them and honestly wish I could just sort of swap my glasses out full time for these bad boys and get these uh, awesome sort of floating screen experiences with me wherever I go. So if you want to learn more about Vitura One, check out all the amazing things these extended reality glasses can do. Hit the link down below to learn more. And also you can grab your iPhone pack today and get 10% off using my special code in the link right down below in the description. As always, I appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much for watching and allowing me to geek out over new technology. As always, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle, and I'll see you all in the next one.